the halls are literally alive with music because Symphony of the Hills moved in yesterday and they are now in residence. To tell us about this really great program for young people and for all of you too is a, a very dear friend of mine, uh, Pacey Beers, who has retired from the theater department at University of Wisconsin in Superior and is now Professor Emeritus. My stars, Pacey, <laughs> how are you? <laughs> Hard to live up to that name, <laughs> but it's, it's a great joy not, ha not having to get up at 6.30 or 7 o'clock in the morning to meet an 8 o'clock class. And you can wear all kinds of hats, you told right. me. That's neat. Right. And, and Pacey, you brought Art Baumgartner, who is chairman of the music department. Art, we're very glad to have you with us. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. I'm sure these are very busy and exciting days for you. Yes, indeed. What's going on over there? Okay, we have the Symphony of the Hills in residence. This is the performing orchestra of the Symphony School of America which is a summer training program for high school and college age musicians. And these people gather for a period of five weeks during the summer and work with professional players from symphony orchestras from around the country, such as the Omaha Symphony, the Jackson Symphony, and so on. And each student is apprenticed to one of the professionals <laughs> and is given daily coaching and training uh, in the art of performing symphonic music. And so the students plus their professional teachers then combine to um, uh, perform with, as the Symphony of the Hills. Isn't this a great plan? I don't know who thinks of these things, but what could be a better experience for youngsters than to work with professionals on such a almost one-to-one -one basis? Pacey, I understand that we are going to be able to hear some beautiful concerts from this group. You are right. And the opening concert in Superior is tomorrow night at 7.30 p.m. in the Mannion Theater in the Holden Fine Arts Center. Mm -hmm. And then there will be two other concerts following that. Um, on the following Thursday, uh, July 19th, and on the, on the next Wednesday, July 25th. Now, um, are tickets available at the door? Would you prefer to have them purchased ahead well, of time? Well, they, they can purchase ahead of time uh, in the music office in Holden Fine Arts Center or by writing for them at P.O. Box 774, uh, Spear, Wisconsin, 54880, checks payable to Symphony School of America, and tickets will also be available at the door evenings of the concerts. Is this the first time that this has happened at University of Wisconsin, or has this been happening for several years while I've been gone? Uh, last year was their first summer in residence in Superior, so this is their second summer here. Uh, how were they received? Wonderfully. Yes, the orchestra produces a sound that is very professional, and the people who came to the concerts were very favorably impressed. Yeah. So. Well, it's always nice to see young people perform. You know, this is what's happening, and I think that is a special treat. We have some uh, talented young people with us this morning. Would you care to introduce them to us? Uh, yes, I will. We have with us uh, three members of the uh, Symphony of the Hills. Uh, Vladimir Savoysky is the staff pianist. Uh, he is uh, on the faculty at the Peabody Conservatory in Baltimore. He is also on the conducting staff for the symphony. And then two students from the symphony are with us. Kevin McMahon is a violinist, and Theodore Weber is the cellist. Uh, they are both students at the University of Michigan in Ann Arbor. I just want to ask one question. How are the children selected for this school? They're the selected youngsters. by audition, either live or taped audition. So they are very special musicians. Yes, they are. Let's hear them. Okay, they're going to perform for us the first movement of the Mendelssohn Trio for piano, violin, and cello.
Symphony of the Hills will be in concert July 12th, 19th, and 25th at 7.30 p.m. in the uh, Mannion Theater at the Holden Fine Arts Center at University of Wisconsin in Superior. I think that we should go, if at all possible, not only to enjoy ourselves, but to support the wonderful work that these young people are doing. As you can see and hear, they are extremely professional. Our thanks to good friend Pacey Beers and Mr. Art Baumgartner from US UWS for coming today and sharing the news with us. Until tomorrow, everybody, goodbye. Wednesday.